Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for June 2nd, 2022. If you like support channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and my portfolio and all my trades are available in the link down below. So let's go and look at the NASDAQ and as you can see, we have been all over the place today. We rallied up towards 12.8k uh, and dropped all the way down to 8.4, 12.4k uh, 12 and end up at 12.5 give or take. At this current stage, it looks like we are running in in the massive amount of resistance around 12.8k, and it kind of looks like we're just doing the same thing that we have been doing. Um, all this year that is rallying up towards the 20 uh, simple moving average breaking down up towards the 50 or uh, 50 moving average or the 200 and also breaking down we have not gotten all the way up towards the 50 moving average here but it looks like we are already running out of steam and heading back towards the very lows if we break below the 20 simple moving average and then the bottom of the bullish band where we also find the previous lows here in may will most likely get get um, tested if you look at the technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bearish it has crossed the signal line and heading in towards a negative territory and the rsi is also bearish at this point so momentum is to the downside to the upside if we manage to take out 12.8k then the 50 moving average will most likely come into play if you look at where these moving averages are most likely going to travel then 50 moving average looks like it's heading towards this directory and we have the 200 moving average here 20 simple moving average is heading towards um, lower levels and if we break below here then we are most likely going to test the lows from may Breaking above here, then the 50 moving average comes into play and we'll most likely get rejected there. After that, it is the 200 moving average and the previous highs over here, which we have to technically get through in order to go back to the all-time highs, which at this current stage doesn't look very, um, very plausible at this point as Federal Reserve is in increasing interest rates and they are, haven't even really started tightening or um, uh, reducing their balance sheet, which should be absolute havoc for this market. So let's look at the uh, S&P 500, very similar here. It did get very close to the 50 moving average and has turned around quite significantly. We got up towards uh, 4.2K and now we're trading at uh, 4,098. So we have been rallying up towards the 50, up towards the 20, did get past 200 here and then had the massive drop and now it looks like we are going back towards the 50 and dropping back down if we manage to break above the 50 then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play we need to clear these tops here in order to go back towards the all-time highs and that doesn't look very plausible at this current stage sentiment needs to change the Fed needs to basically be the market's friend again uh, in order to uh, to uh, to uh, get prices back up where they were. And uh, what is most likely going to happen is that they're going to increase interest rates. They're going to uh, stop buying uh, bonds on the market. And uh, that will, of course, have very negative effects for the market in general. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Very similar thing here. We have been, we rallied, we broke down, rallied up towards the 50, and now it looks like we're going to test the 20 simple moving average at the 32.2k. Uh, and after that, most likely drop back towards the very low. Probably not in that fashion, but in this fashion. If we make, uh, manage to break above the 50, then we have the 200 moving average moving in this direction, and uh, that is probably as far as we will go. Similar here, we need to take out this um, range in order to go back towards the all-time highs. Otherwise, we're looking at making lower lows yet again. So we made one low here, one low here, and one another one here, and we're basically making uh, a bearish channel here. If we look at the MACD, it is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish, so momentum is definitely changing to the downside, uh, considering technical indicators. 
if you look at the European markets, um, DAX is starting to look very weak, running out of momentum at this uh, stage. It has in between bullish runs, but at the end of the session, we see that there's technically no um, um, buying occurring. So momentum is to the downside at this point. So we were in this channel, we did break out and uh, headed towards the 200 moving average, but ran out of steam around this area here, which is at 14.6K. This is also where we ran out of steam when we hit uh, the last time, and you could basically also make the case for this area here. So 14.6K is definitely a um, level that we need to break in order to go towards the 200 moving average, which most likely will travel in this direction. So if we break below the 50 moving average and also the simple moving average, then it's likely that we'll go back towards this low where we also find the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So it is to be seen, uh, it's starting to fall, but uh, we need to basically break down and breaking below here, well, that opens the door back towards the very lows here. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX um, has broken below the 50 moving average, which um, which um, should be a bullish shine. And uh, we have also seen uh, quite a lot of volatility uh, the last uh, two trading days. So we did rally towards the top of the bullish band, broke towards the 50, rallied back up and then back to the 50. And now it looks like we are going to test the 200 moving average. And if that, if that is the case, then we may see um, minor rallies in the indices and also in these tech stocks. Um, but 200 moving average is where we have found massive support in the past. And we will most likely bounce from there as we are basically building up for higher volatility going forward. And at some point in the next few months, I wouldn't be surprised to see this going towards 40. Uh, uh, that is technically what this is building uh, building up to. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bearish, so it says the casting is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the 10 year. So the 10 year has found, um, found uh, massive support down here below the 50 moving average has rallied. We're at the 2.9 at this current stage. And you could kind of make a case that this basically is a flag and that we are going to see uh, this rally significantly to the upside going forward. It was just completely overbought when we were at the, the one point, uh, one point, uh, 3.1, sorry. You can see here in the RSI that we were all the way up at the 73. And since then we have pulled back and now it looks like we have built enough momentum in order to go significantly higher. We should not be very good for uh, stocks uh, in general or indices. So, but breaking below this, that will most likely go and test the 2.4 and down to the 200 moving average. But it looks like this market has turned around and is ready to go back to the upside. So. Hope you find this helpful. You want to support Java, subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.